The human curiosity of nature has existed since the first humans domesticated animals, when so many documentaries are used to explore the parts of the animal kingdom not seen by human eyes. Few explore the most fascinating creature nature has ever made, one whose rapid evolution has allowed it to remain the true conquerors of Earth, a powerhouse never before seen on Earth as we know it. What issues now gain way? That is the question we wish to answer, a deep dive into the many lives of the human race. While humans as a whole have advanced past many of the issues their wild ancestors dealt with, many still struggle for food every day. And unlike wild animals, this particular boy is unable to hunt. He scavenges, looking through the waste of others in hope of finding something. He, however, finds nothing. Driven to acts of desperation, he would do almost anything to eat. And by anything, I mean anything. However unsuccessful his trials may be, in him, the revolutionary resilience has remained. And he will not give up without a fight. In desperation, we see who one truly is, and a specimen like this, driven to such extremes, it is clear that he would do anything to survive. Acts deemed too obscene by a normal, functioning member of society. Here we see a rarely used tactic in the wilderness, a symbiotic relationship of sorts. Both parties require something, one being food and the other, well, we don't quite have the time to unravel all of humanity's mysteries. And as for our little friend here, his story isn't quite over. This little creature faces a new problem, one of the mind. Trauma was an evolutionary tactic used to condition the mind to learn the hard way from experiences, to never repeat such a devastating mistake twice. The side effect has left the masculinity of this individual shattered, in desperate need of repair, where once dominance was exhibited over him, he would now ascertain dominance on another. Approaching one of a greater size requires much more than one of a similar stature. To overcome this hurdle, he will have to use strategy and ingenuity if he truly wishes to prevail. Utilizing his smaller stature, he stays hidden until the terrain favors a more elusive form of combat. As soon as his target has entered the opening, he engages. It has, however, become immediately apparent that this fight was severely miscalculated. To be put out of one's misery would be a gift for someone like this, but he will have to continue his life of suffer and sorrow another day. The ability to feel empathy is a luxury not typically available in the wild. In a world where you must fight to gain every scrap, generosity goes unnoticed and unrewarded. However, the human condition has evolved to promote kindness. Where a single hunter may feed himself for a week, a tribe could feed everyone for a month. For example, I gave this man 25 US dollars when he was low on funds. I gave the money with full confidence that he would repay me in equal amounts when funds were more abundant for him. I have, however, since been blocked on all social media and have been left unable to contact him. However, in a world where generosity can be rewarded, so too can negligence be punished. But this ignorant, self-serving little whelp doesn't know is that I've hired a thug to show him exactly what he is worth to me. In this world, sometimes to make a profit, you need to spend a little extra at the moment. To set an example for the future, if I spent 500 US dollars for each of his kneecaps to be broken, where a 
Before he had twenty-five dollars in stolen money, he now has two permanent reminders to pay back his debts. The human mindset is the result of a millennia of evolutionary trial and error, and one function we haven't seen as much use of is our anxiety. The ability to overthink a situation has been proven useful in the past, but in this instance, for this man, it is his downfall. He is waiting in a public restroom that he believes to be occupied, so he waits. After many, many minutes of waiting, he realizes that it is in fact vacant, and slowly a line will start to form around him. This is where the anxiety kicks in. But the line is not yet long. His anxiety braids hesitation, and in hesitation, the line begins to lengthen. With one of such high stature now in line, he is now in danger of serious scrutiny. And before he knows it, another has arrived. At the apex of his dilemma, and possibly realizing that his situation would only get worse the longer he waits, and that his bladder could not hold until he found another bathroom, he decides to face the consequences for his lack of foresight. Oh, you got to be kidding oh, me. Oh my god. Are you kidding me, dude? What a Embarrassment is a tool not fully understood. This man, who once got good grades in school, with promising scholarship opportunities, has receded into his basement where everything is dark and controlled. His life now revolves around mastering this archaic game, alone where the only person who can judge him is himself. While he undeniably is one of the greatest to ever play this game, it's one in a small list that he's mastered in his months of solitude. And yet, in the video game world, he was on par with a deity. In the real world, his existence has been all but forgotten. He lives in an ever-growing pile of rubbish, where it's near impossible to differentiate food from trash, while his mental state and physical state are deteriorating. He is determined to finish what he started, to truly feel as if he is in control of his own destiny once more. And finally, without reprieve, he comes to the end, victorious at last. Yet it is bittersweet, as he is now again in reality, and now he goes to rejoin the living. Corbin, dinner's ready! The human body is a miracle of science, a perfectly designed mechanism, and I hope you've gained a new appreciation for what you've been given, and I hope you don't let any proletariat steal your rightful funds. This has been Shonil Fishman from Fishman Corporation, filmed in cooperation with Schizophrenic Productions.